Hi guys, uh, John here from bellylife.com. I hope you're having a great time. Well, in this video, we're going to continue what we were doing uh, in the last video. In the last video, we uh, created a, an HTML document and we called it tutorial three. And this was our uh, file document over here. We created a page over here and this was the page. I mean the whole internet is made up of these little boxes that when they are put together then we have the whole internet as we see it. I go to outline and uh, outline block level elements. If you do that as you see you see a line comes around all the little box. Now if I go to my own to to the page that we created before it's over here and if I use uh, web developer here outline outline block level elements do you see that these lines come over here this shows that this element that we created over here is actually a box that starts from here and extends all the way to the right hand side of my browser now that you know that uh, our website is essentially a collection of boxes put together I want to do it some I want to do something using CSS on this box head and forward slash head and right style and forward slash style now I want to make a uh, the background color of my h1 element which was the heading I want to make it light green so I simply write h1 because as you see here the name was h1 h1 and h1 I simply write h1 for example background color and then colon and then for example you want to make it green light green you write light green and semicolon and now if you save this document and go back to your browser and refresh your browser you will see that a light green color background color is added to your to your h1 make the background dark green I want to make the text color for example white I want to make the font size for example 20 pixel and give it a little padding I'll tell you in a minute what padding is now so I need to go back to my editor and in my H H1 style H1 I just change the background color to dark green and so if I save this and went back to my browser refresh you see that this turns into dark color white so you see that now the text color is white and the background color is dark green or you could change the font size for example you say font size for example 20 pixel save it Firefox now you see that the, the, f the font size is 20 pixel and for example some padding let's give it some padding 5 pixel for example if I give 5 pixel padding saved you can see that there I mean some padding is added to your h1 now what this padding is there is a add there is an add-on called firebox now if I go back to my browser right click on this element and inspect element with firebug you can see that here it says h1 here the h1 is highlighted and then if you click on layout it says this is the size of the element so the padding is an is 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 the area around actually around the element and you can now make the padding for example 15 pixel and see what happens as you can see the padding is or let's say 100 pixel can you see 
over here the padding the top padding is uh, I've increased the top padding or 150 pixel the bottom padding I say 200 pixel can you see that this is called padding I, I just wanted to show you how CSS works with uh, HTML and how they work together thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video bye bye for now